From a plan payer's perspective, health plans are interested in covering expensive diagnostic tests for those tests, or genomic, pharmacogenomic tests, for example. Um, when the test itself, even though it may be expensive in the thousands of dollar range, if it's associated with drug therapy that's five, six thousand dollars a month, Tarceva or Lotinib is a good example as an oral uh, cancer drug, and the, the test uh, for endothelial growth factor receptor is the genomic test as an example. We are very much interested in providers doing that test and billing us for that test because that test is less than $2,000. And you could potentially avoid then tens of thousands of dollars of Tarceva therapy if the test is negative, and that indicates that the patient shouldn't be taking the drug. There's another scenario, a good example is the warfarin pharmacogenomic test, where in that case the drug is four or five dollars a month. Um, the test is helpful in dosing the drug and can be very beneficial. But the problem is, is that the individuals are generally already taking warfarin for many days and have been stabilized on a dose. Before you get that result back, those genetic tests take some time, many days, sometimes weeks, to return the answer to you. So you as a physician provider are now billing me for hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars, me, uh, I'm pretending that I'm the health plan, or you know, the health plan, PBM. Um, in that case, the test is delayed and not potentially going to help you treat your patient and the value it becomes minimal to none and coverage is, is not paid then we're, so we're going to deny that test even though it exists and it's well documented it's available uh, its value to care is marginal and there for that reason health plans have decided not to cover it, including CMS or the federal government doesn't pay for that test. Now there are very large ongoing clinical trials that the federal government has funded to try to see if that test will result in better outcomes, better patient care. However, we're waiting on those and then for that reason, that test, even though it exists, would be a test that we're not covering.